Hello. What can I say? I'm in a cave, in a real cave. And yeah, in China you can find everything. Mountains, sea, lakes, uh, uh, caves, everything. So what can I say? I'm right now in a Tianhe Lake area. We have caves here and we go to explore them. Let's go. I arrived to Tianhe Lake tourist resort. I expected here the lakes and some caves, but now watching at this map I'm realizing, oh my god, there are so many things. This is still related to Miao culture. These horns look a bit aggressive with the skull. <laughs> and this, I don't know what is it, but maybe it's somehow related to the sun. And then I immediately start thinking about the Maya. <laughs> Now we're going to take a boat and go around the lake and maybe even get into the caves. <laughs> It's very slippery here and quite dark, so sometimes you maybe don't see the stairs. But yeah, again, you see the fences, the stairs, the lights, so it's all made with even untrained tourists without no equipment, no physical skills. You can just arrive, pay money and enjoy the view. I still prefer those real caves where you have to put effort to climb, to go up and down, use your hands, get dirty, because for me that is a real experience. And I, I, was, I was in such caves, uh, for example, three years ago, I was in such place and it was a, quite an experience. I, it's been three years, but I still cannot forget it. And plus to that, I met some really cool people in those caves and that near-death experience really brought us all together so 
till today, three years later, we are still very good, very close friends. And this is really means something. I just saw the second already a little bat flying there, just almost over my head. So, so realistic. <laughs> It's hard to explain people that you're not supposed to shout in a cave. This is all made just for people to come and make photos, of course. I just want to walk and walk in this cave for hours and please alone without annoying people and children who are screaming everywhere <sighs> just to enjoy the silence and how fresh is it here i think it's like 15 or 10 degrees even the process of forming stalactite and stalagmite and becoming into a um, column here i almost got to the exit here are people already waiting with my photo and there are other people coming. I got out from the cave and this is the view outside of it and now going up. This is what is called a bit of pepper place. I don't like that spicy food. Let's try it. Obviously, it's very hard to make video nearby the waterfall. It's there because of the sound. And right now, I'm walking nearby the cliff I showed in another video. And to be honest, there are not so much things to watch. I mean, okay, yeah, the cave. Cave is like must visit, and it's already enough. There are a few waterfalls, lake, and that's it. Um,
did we call in Avatar movie was trees? Ava? Iva? I don't remember exactly. <laughs> It's so painful and it's so hot outside and you see these waterfalls and these lakes and you're like, you, you're ready to give up and everything and just go and swim there. But nope, you cannot do that. So today we had a bit of attachment with the nature, we watched the cave, we watched waterfalls, it was so beautiful. And this is gonna be my last video from Guizhou province because tomorrow I have a flight to another province, so another adventure. That's why subscribe, stay tuned and let's protect the nature. <laughs>